Hello, sisters, and welcome back to HB Ministries, a ministry for you to believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be in whatever season of life. And we are kicking off today our Anchored Faith Bible Study. So welcome to everybody that is aboard this ship. We are going to go sailing um, and really learn how our hope is certain and stabled and anchored uh, in our faith. So we're going to learn a lot of amazing things and we're going to take hold of God's word and his characters and his promises. For today in this video, I want to tell you that we are going to focus on the sheets today. I'm going to show you in this study some tips and tricks on how to use your Bible and how to use your notes for this Bible study. There will not be a video every single day, but my goal is that you are meeting in the presence of God's joy and you're not looking at this as homework, but you're looking at this as a time to grow and spend time with God and listen to hear his voice. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. I will be teaching throughout this class on these specific topics. So you will hear me either pop on the live. So please head over to HB Women's Bible Study Facebook page. It's HB Women's Facebook page right here. And I engage with a lot of women, over a thousand women from all over the world. We will engage and I will pop on there live. I will also post a couple videos this week that's just teaching about this theme of grabbing a life jacket. That's a little bit of how we do the studies here. So today, obviously, if you wanted to, you could label this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Remember, Friday is our live study all the time on YouTube, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I teach a live in regards to this whole week. I might pick a theme. Again, if you're not in the study, you can still come to the live because you will definitely receive a word from God. So today being Monday, our kickoff day or whatever day you are kicking off this study, I like to start my studies on Monday. I like to start my new devotion, my new study on Monday. It just feels right. So today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my note out and I'm going to show you how to use this worksheet. I'm going to go ahead in a second and write the verses down here. And then I'm using the back of this sheet to brain dump. Now, if you have watched my other videos, I'm teaching you how to brain dump, how to be a student that brain dumps, circles words, and does a little mind mapping. And this is a time when you can really uh, hear what God is saying. Now, you might want to take out your prayer journal, which remember, there's a difference between our war binders and our prayer journals. War binders, which hold all our, Bi uh, our Bible studies in it, which looks like, I call these our war binder Bible studies, which has every month of study inside of it. So it's really all of our recipes. It's our war binder in God's word. But then we also have a war binder, which mine is upstairs right now, which is our devotional journal. And I taught you how to put those um, together. So really it's your dreams and, and people that you're praying for. Um, it's your gratitude area, your Thanksgiving area. And I, in your sermons, all of those are in there. I use that a lot of times to elaborate sometimes on what I'm studying here. Another important tool that I would love for you to do is to download this spiritual prompt right here. Again, this came out in a newsletter. So if you're subscribed to heatherbaxter.com, every Friday I send a newsletter out and I'll give you certain tools or the notes for that Friday's Bible study. So very important to subscribe to heatherbaxter.com. But right here is your spiritual prompts that I would love you to use in this Bible study to help you kind of break down God's word. And as we're looking at uh, the reflection and how to respond and, and what to research, you can use these spiritual prompts to help you dive in, dive in to his word more. I'm going to show you how to use those as we go through the study. I will utilize that sheet. One other important thing before we start today, and I kind of walk you through, please, I want to get you in the routine of starting into your morning time with this five step. I want to start you in your morning time with this four step process. And so I'm including this that you're looking at it. So every time before you go and do your verses and write them out and do your worksheet, I would love you to pray. What things from your word need to touch my life? Very simple. Decide. Choose to be willing to listen, learn, and change. This is a big one. 
we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us learn to change, to be willing, to be submissive, to surrender. Another word I was thinking about, you know, in my personal life is discipline to the flesh. We need to decide to do that and then ask the Lord for help, the Holy Spirit. Seek, be asking for something specific you can apply to your life today or share with somebody today. Specific out of your lesson for that day. Lastly, which is most important, enjoy. This is not homework. Remember, you're never late. You're right on time. In your presence is the fullness of joy. Psalm 1611. Use this time. I feel like everybody can, tr you could honestly get this done in 10 or 15 minutes. I really believe it. Uh, should you at least get 20 in? Yes. I think we can get a half hour in, but I know everyone's coming from a different season of life. I mean, we have, some of us are homeschooling. We're working from home. We work out of the home and we're back home and we're, you know, we wear many hats in the house and we're thinking, gosh, I don't have time for this. Well, here was today's daily tip. If you head over to HB Women's Ministry page again, I'm going to be highlighting a daily tip. Also on my Instagram and my Instagram stories, you will see a daily tip. And this is today's daily tip. And it's a reminder that we need to take time to anchor ourselves in that hope that is going to keep us stable and keep us anchored and strong and give us a sure hope and a sure foundation so we cannot afford to not have time. And again, um, that's just a daily tip from me in regards to life is like a sea. And when life is like a sea, life wants to toss you all around. But when that anchor is down, you are not going anywhere. You are staying right where you need to be, but we need to be anchored in faith. Otherwise, you're going to get tossed around in the distractions of life, the distractions in your life. And I'll talk to you a little bit about that today on live. So right now, what I'm going to do, sisters, is I am going to bring out my Bibles. A lot of ladies will ask, well, Heather, what Bible do you use? I tend to turn to my Thomas Nelson Woman's Study Bible. This is my absolute favorite Bible, you can tell. Um, she's pretty used. If you head over to my Amazon store, if you go to heatherbaxter.com, you hit the Amazon page, hit office, all my Bibles are in there. I have a Bible called Quest, which a lot of people will say, which Bible do you think is great for a beginner? Quest. Quest is great for a beginner. I don't have one with me right now. It's in my daughter's room, but I would highly recommend the Quest Bible. Very, very good. It'll go into detail about all the chapters of the book and who, what, where, when, and why, and really help you get anchored in God's word. So Quest, again, that's on my Amazon store. Another one that I absolutely love is my Experience in God Bible. Um, I love this because you, it, it just, it walks you through so much. First of all, it has this, uh, let me turn to it. It has these charts in this Bible with these little symbols to help you understand what you're experiencing about God when you're reading that passage of scripture. So I love the visuals. I turned to this a lot and I used this a lot when I was really getting anchored in the faith and when I was going through Bible college and stuff. I turned to this Bible because I learned how God was at work. I was learning how to obey and experience him. I was learning how he was speaking in relationships, how he was always about inviting us to step into faith. This book will teach you how he could be speaking to you in a situation and how to learn to hear his voice. What is a crisis of belief and how do you adjust your life? So when you listen to me teach, and you can also find this sheet over at heatherbaxter.com in the ministry store. It's a free download. I always teach you how to highlight God's word or the verses that we're doing for that day with a color so you can understand what God is saying to you. So this really came from a lot of me knowing this over the past few years, and I'm just simplifying it for you. So we use this handout a lot, but these are my two favorite Bibles. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, and then we're going to review the notes so you can see how I worked through this personally.
about my wonderful highlighters if you don't have these you can get these also at my amazon store they're super super cheap but best things in the world that's all i'll use in my bibles because they don't bleed and i love using them on my handouts because they also do not bleed through so what i'm going to do now is we wrote out all the verses um i'm going to look at this sheet and i'm going to kind of go back over and i'm going to look at john 16 33 which says these things i have spoken to you Ooh, wait a minute I already know it's going to be pink, that part, because it says his works when God is speaking and working or saying something to us. So God is saying that in me, you have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I'm going to take my pink highlighter, highlight all of this, because this is a place in which God is speaking to me and reminding me that he is bigger than the world. He is bigger than the sea. He is bigger than all the currents and the waves that feel like we, that is taking us under. And just a few minutes ago, I felt like brain dumping. The whole title of today is life is like the sea. And the Holy Spirit just kind of prompted me to remind you and for me to work personally and write down what are my seas right now? What are the currents that can really feel like they're carrying me away? Maybe list some of those somewhere. Um, maybe it's your schedule and prioritizing. Maybe it's children right now. Maybe it's finances. Maybe it's a test you're going through. Maybe health. Maybe the illness of someone, the death of someone. And you're just feeling like, yes, life is like a sea. It's overwhelming. It's huge. It's large. And the current is just taking you away and you don't feel very anchored. Well, we need to be reminded that um, the Lord is speaking to us that in him we have peace. In him is also going to mean I would love to draw an anchor with a chain. And we're talking about how this anchor is down here and the boat is right here. Okay, so here's your boat. Not a good boat, but we got a boat. In order for this boat to stay on the sea and not be tossed around by these things, we will only have peace if we're anchored, anchored in that. So it's very important because in this world, which could be like the sea, you're gonna have tribulation. Tribulation's gonna toss you all around, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That's a popular verse. And that's also very good for us to know. Um, we need that life jacket. Grab that life jacket. That life jacket is representing Jesus. It's representing your hope. And hope is a person. And that person is Jesus. And we need to be anchored in him. We're going to talk about more this week of how we call for him and how we really put that life jacket on. But right now, I want you to know that he's here for us. The next verse says, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear. Therefore, you are more value, valuable than my sparrows. Now, I love this. Now, here's what I would do on this. If I was like questioning, hmm, which one is this? How is God speaking? I would personally go over to this Bible 
and I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to open up Matthew 10. Um, and this is how and why I would use this Bible. It really helps me. I'm going to go to Matthew 10 and I'm going to go to verse 29 through 31. So I'm going to go to 10. It's kind of like that teaching Bible that just helps you really see. And that's why I like it. So here is 10. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear. Therefore, you are of more value than, than many sparrows. So here is a heart. Okay, there's a heart symbol here. And if you go back to this beginning, there's two symbols for this passage to help you understand what God is trying to show. This little heart, and it says, God pursues a continuing love relationship with you that is real and personal. God pursues a continuing love relationship with you that is real and personal. And the other one is this little envelope that's going along with this verse. And that little envelope says, God invites you to become involved with him. God invites you to become involved with him. So this scripture verse, honestly, if I was going to go look at my sheet, I would have to go all about his working again. I would go pink because it's God just letting us know that this is how he works. He's inviting us. He's working around us. He's talking to us about the sparrows. He's really wanting us to know that he's involved in his life and he wants to have a relationship with us. He's working constantly around us. And so how beautiful is that? Our life jacket is floating around us at all times because he wants us to know how much he loves us. So again, I'm going to take this and I'm going pink with this because this is his father. This is him telling us about his will and how he's working. Then we'll go to the third one. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. This sounds very personal. This sounds like some personal feelings. This sounds like something that you inherit, you behold, you believe in. And that's exactly what our motto is. As you can see, I have my ministry bracelets on, which you can find over in the ministry store. Believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be in whatever season of life. But I'm reminded whatever I'm going through or whatever somebody's going through, I'll share that with them. We have to have that. This has to be a personal feeling. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. And when we get to know him and we anchor our life in him, we are going to be able to know that he's our rock and that he's our salvation. And we're going to exalt him in those hard times, in those times where um, life just feels overwhelming, like a large sea. So with that in mind, we did some reading. How simple was that, right? Beautiful. And um, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to do a little reflection. I'm going to pick a verse. Now, this is what I um, really want you to focus on too. I'm going to pick a verse that I want to focus on this week. And I'm going to go with John 16, 33. And I'm going to write that verse on, I bought a packet of these, bought a packet of these wonderful things. I'm going to write this verse on here. So I'm going to write this down and this is going to be my verse for the day. I'm going to hide this and read it several times. Maybe you can put it as a screensaver on your phone or wherever you want. So I'll be... And then I might do a little research on the um, passages and just use my journal prompts, which are right here uh, that I'm sharing with you, and do a little bit about how I need to respond, what I need to do. And then I'll turn the camera back and talk to you about what I came up with. All right. What a great study today. Um, remember, if you are over on the HB Women's Ministry Facebook page, I will be jumping on there live once in a while during this week's study to share a word with you. And I'm going to be doing that this afternoon. Those will always be there so you can go back and replay. But join that group because that will help you um, even dive in more, even dive in more to the notes and receive. Now, 
wow, today, again, I used these spiritual prompts right here as I did a little reflection. Now, what I did for the reflection is I went one, two, three, because we had three verses today. So when I reflect, what does this passage say to me and how does it apply to my life? Number on John 16, 33, I just thought that I need to focus on the anchor to have more peace. So I wanted to ask myself, how am I focusing more on the anchor? Which again, that is my verse for the week. My, I mean, my verse for today is that in this world, we're going to have tribulation. Things are going to go wrong. Things are going to go wrong with our kids and our marriage and stuff. But we need to focus on that anchor, on that truth, on the things that are going to help us have peace in the midst of the storms. I'll talk about this again in a minute, but that was something I want to apply. Number two, which was Matthew 10, uh, the second verse, I wanted to know here that God cares about me and my life right now. Whatever it is, he cares. And I need to remind myself because the devil wants to scream louder and make you feel fearful and that nobody's listening, nobody's around, that you're lonely, nobody cares. And that is not true. God loves you right now and that's all you need and number three I want to exalt and remember my salvation I want to remember my transformation I remember that day that I was being so tossed all over my testimonies in my run book that I uh, published about four years ago you can purchase that um, on my website or in the Amazon store but I remember being tossed around and really never ever grabbed that initial life jacket and I, I just wanted to remember that that feeling of somebody handing me that and saying, you know what, I'm done, done doing this myself. And I put that life jacket on and my transformation began. It was amazing. Um, so today I'm remembering again, John 16, 33, and I'm remembering also the tribulation I had and the peace that I had, even in the midst of marriage problems and sin issues that I was struggling with and shame. I had this overwhelming peace that the Lord was going to work it all out. So I'm thanking God for that and remembering this verse. Research. Now, these are things that you might be struggling with. I'm not going to be able to answer every single one, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to the Lord with it. I want you to do some Googling if you have extra or post your question over on the HB Women's Ministry site and let's um, activate each other's wisdom and, and discernment on things and see how we can help. And I'll even jump on there and maybe try to answer a few questions a week in our live. So I'm going to have a notebook next to me. And in that notebook, which is right here, I'm going to try to jot down some of your questions. And then when I do lives, I'm going to pull the questions up and just ask, you know, answer them the best that I can. Now, today in the research, I put some things down that I had questions on before on some of these verses that you may. Um, and for example, uh, there was a verse and that verse right here was in Matthew 10. And it says, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. Well, for the longest time, one of my questions were apart from my father's will, what is the will of God? What is the will of God? Man, that is popular. And there's seven steps in discerning the will of God. And I've taught that several times. I'm curious, do you know those? Do you know a little bit about what the Father's will is? Is that something you really want to know? Because that could be one of my teachings on a Friday, apart from my Father's will. Um, what is salvation? Because it talks about here in Psalm 1846, the Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. I struggled with knowing what is salvation? What does that word mean? That was a very different word for me um, in the way that I grew up in the church that I grew up. We never really were talked about our personal salvation, our, our salvation experience. Are you saved? Um, I didn't know how to celebrate that. So how does that feel? Is that something? Because that's going to be answered in this week's lesson. Uh, another thing is good cheer while experiencing pain. Really? This one says right here, these things I've spoken to you that in me you will have peace, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Ladies, this is one of the most popular questions I get is, I'm in so much pain now. I want peace. I really do. But how am I going to be of good cheer? And so what I want you to understand is that maybe you're going to be using your journal prompts again right here and just say, God, I need to know that you're revealing that you care. Show me that. 
God said he is wanting me to grab that life jacket. Okay, here's a picture of the life jacket. He wants you to grab that and put that around you. It's a spiritual symbol of putting that life jacket. Picture falling off the Titanic right now and somebody throws you this gigantic life jacket. You're all like hyperventilating. You're feeling like you're drowning. You have no peace and that's how you could feel. And then somebody throws you this large life jacket that you can crawl up inside of, hang your arms over and float and float to toward the will of God, float toward where God wants you to go. He'll move the currents. He'll move your situation. He'll put the pieces together. You hold on to that jacket. Without that jacket, you would drown. That's a little bit about what this verse means. You're going to have tribulation in the sea, but if you grab that jacket, there's a supernatural peace that's going to give you good cheer. That's going to give you joy, not happiness, joy. Joy is the fruit of the spirit. In your, in your study, there is a couple, please personalize this right now and um, really, really, really um, ask the Lord to come near to you and forgive you and be your savior and be your preserver and really focus on this brain dump, circle, pray it out. Or if you're in that place where you know that you've accepted Christ, you understand the word salvation, but you've really walked away. Maybe this is a place where you're putting that back on and you're just saying, renew my faith. I want to open myself completely to your voice, to the spiritual prompts, to everything that we're learning, all everything here. I need to be renewed and restored and and break me down if you need to. I want to fall in love with you again. And you're going to do that through these sheets. But it all starts first with allowing the Lord to give you a new nature and help prepare you on this earth. And then most importantly, for that home in heaven. And I'm going to talk to you more about that. But he wants to raise you from all that tribulation and show you his peace. But you have to trust. You got to trust that he's going to give you a home in heaven and also give you a brand new start in this life now. Have you ever done that? Has that something you ever prayed? I would love for you to start here. And if you do say this prayer for the first time, leave a comment below. I would love to know that. I'd love to reach out, pray for you. Um, and that's first part of the study. And we're going to be talking about these two prayer sheets through the whole entire study because we are all in one of these places at all times. Either you're here and you need to do the one time, uh, you know, be born again, which we're going to talk about that. But we're always in a place of putting that life jacket on and renewing. And that is why it is so important every day to give a little bit of your time to be anchored. Again, here's our daily tip. And remember, there's it, it's so important because that anchor is really holding us down and taking most of the weight off of us so we can feel a little peace as God works out his will in our lives on this side of heaven. All right, that was our first sheet, ladies. How awesome, right? I love the R's. I love, love, love the five R's. Again, if you don't have your sheet like this, head over to heatherbaxter.com in the ministry store. This is a free download. If you do not have your Bible study, it's not too late. Go grab a Bible study. It's a three-week Bible study, and you are really going to know and understand um, how to have that hope and be anchored in that hope and be anchored in that faith and feel that peace that surpasses all understanding. All right. Love you, ladies. And I will see you in the next study. Mm -hmm.